just heard that Kendrick Lamar diss. Kendrick, but that going on the cob, man. You know what's crazy, man? The light skinned niggas is winning, man. Three to nothing, man. Drake up two to nothing. My Chris Brown up one to nothing. I just take me back. I remember in the late 80s, the light skinned niggas ran everything up to the late 80s. Then my, you know, Brown pistol whip, very light skinned nigga in my New Jack City. Then they had it bad all the way up to my, yeah. Steph Curry and Chris Brown and Clay Thompson and Drake. And, now them light skinned niggas just doing what they want, man. Y'all even let Wallo light skin come home from jail after doing 73 days and win. Light skin niggas just think they run the world, man. Dark skin niggas better step your game up, man. It's real. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UP TV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in and we heal once again as the people want it, so we gonna speak on it when it comes to everything going on with Kendrick Lamar and Drake right now. We don't really get this many opportunities where we have two top artists in the game going back and forth, so we most definitely gonna cover everything they get spoke on when it comes to this conversation right here. And if y'all heard, if you ain't heard yet, I'm pretty sure y'all have, but if you haven't, you gotta go listen to your forward to be up to date. As Kendrick Lamar came straight forward with the disrespect and gave it real direct. And Gilly the Kid, as y'all heard right there, felt that it was corn on the cob and that it wasn't good. I have to disagree with Gilly wholeheartedly. That nigga Kendrick Lamar was rapping on there. I see, you know, he joking and playing with the light-skinned, dark-skinned stuff. That's just something we do in the culture, the community at times, and that's that. But this ain't that at all. That nigga Kendrick Lamar was spitting and rapping on there. People have to learn how to really listen and process. It's like what Jay-Z say. Uh, what he said on the uh, blueprint, he said, do you fool? He said, they say that I'm foolish. Do you fools listen? No, he said, they say that I'm foolish. All I rap about is jewels. Do you fools listen to music or do you just skim through it? Because if you really took what Kendrick Lamar was saying on here, you would say, hey, bro, nah, this nigga really rapping. He really spitting ball for ball. He throwing stuff directly at Drake. And it's some stuff that's going to be coded on there. Even to him dropping it, 824, that was a response on something. The song named Euphoria was a response on something. He really getting directly at everything that Drake had going on. I did feel like, hey, it seemed like Kendrick could have some more coming. We know Drake coming back with something. But that nigga got real disrespectful on that. One thing I did want to know. Did this nigga Drake really send a cease and desist like Kendrick said on this song for the like that track, like that is what kicked this all off? Future and Metro Boomin album, Kendrick jumping on there, going at Drake and J. Cole, he said, hey, that nigga sent the cease and desist for that and everything. And I'm like, is that really real or did he just say that? But I can't see Kendrick getting on the song and making up a lie. Drake, you got to clear that up on your diss record when you respond, dog. I just need to know the real. And if you did, I'm going to need a little bit, bit of explanation as to why would you send him a cease desist because that automatically takes you out of the battle, in my opinion. That means you forfeited, bro. We can't have that in the game. I'm not saying it's true. I just want to know what the real is on that situation. Also, he talked about Drake uh, in the situation with Diddy. We heard that rumor in the game. They had some type of altercation. He said he going to bring Puff back. Let's see what Chubbs going to do now. Chubbs is his right-hand man. Talked about, nigga, I'm, I'm going. And this ain't 20 versus 1. It's me versus y'all 20 because you're going to have writer, writers in the studio with you and things like that. Then even took it to the level of talking about Drake say, sounding cringy. Whatever he says, the N-word and stuff. Whatever he say, nigga, hey, bro, I hate when you say the word nigga. It sounds cringy to me and stuff. Say he don't like the way that Drake uh, dress, the way that he rap. It all, well, he say rap. He said, I don't like the way he dress. He said, I don't like when Drake rap tough. I like him doing melodic stuff and things of that nature. Even went in and said, nigga, you think you got style because you hanging around Yachty and everything like that. He really took it all the way to Drake. This is what rap battling is. Drake seems like on the uh, push-up song, he was trying to make a record. 
and try to make a song that was catchy and everything, Kendrick came out there straight rapping, bro. If you come from the culture, you listen to this, you can't tell me that nigga not on there rapping and, and, and really putting them words together. And like I say, it's going to be certain things that you got to listen to a few times. You can't judge a song after hearing it only once, bro. You can't judge a song after just listening to it twice all the way all the time. Sometimes stuff catch you right away. Put it in the car. Let it build. Let it grow. Catch all the bars. Nigga, it's songs that came out years ago that I still catch up the bars. If you really hip-hop, you know that well. You might not catch everything in a song, but something happened in your life. And it's like, oh, that's what that nigga was talking about. Or you'll get some new information. That nigga Kendrick Lamar popping it on there. I got to go all the way back and sit down and really break down every lyric that got put out on there and see what they all mean because he's super coded with the raps even though he real direct on this one as well. I'm here for it though. Hey, I respect Drake getting out here, going at everybody that, that went at him. I respect Kendrick for getting out here, keeping this thing alive. They tried to play on rap, which was out of line and disrespectful last year. Even minus the rap, minus the beef stuff or the just rap battles. They tried to act like rap wasn't in a good place. And I'm like, nah, it ain't just the best quality coming out like we always have had over times, even when it did seem like it was bad. I love it anyways. But two top rappers in the game going in, and I'm here for it. Gilly, he going to get his jokes off and things like that. This is going to be subjective. Everybody got their own opinion about music. Some people might feel that it's real light. Some people might feel that it's weak. But I come from the era, hey, nigga, rap. Rap, rap. That's the style I want. I want Drake to get on that diss record side of the game. Come out with the diss record. Go back here, Kendrick. And y'all keep going at it till y'all niggas burn out and tired. Right. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pick. this. Kendrick, but that going on the cob, man. You know what's crazy, man? The light-skinned niggas is winning, man. Three to nothing, man.